Hello again, and I have a Halloween journal to show you today. <clears throat> this is a one that I made last year, so I don't remember everything I did, so let's explore it together. Uh, looks like these are a couple of the um, Tim Holtz pieces of ephemera, and I don't remember where I got this fabric. It looks like the new Tim Holtz fabric, but I got it last year, so pretty sure it's not. <laughs> so this is a hard cover. Looks like it's got a one inch spine and it's the standard, you know, nine by six size. <clears throat> so here we go. Uh, this is uh, cardstock and this is probably from Michael's at some point. I have quite the stash. I know that uh, April over at Pink Godbird said she wasn't impressed with the new paper at Michael's. I haven't been this year, but from what I saw online, I wasn't impressed either. But anyway, uh, this is the, the mica sprays. I love them. I use them all the time still. I don't know if you can really see the, the shine, but... And uh, there's a little bat tab there. I don't remember where I got the, um, the digital, so if, if you want to know a specific one, please just ask me and I will try to look that up for you. Um, so there's a little collage there and more sprays here. This is um, some of the tea stain paper through the, the lace and a sticker on there. And there's this is collaged on... There's probably a window on the other side of this. This feels like um, an envelope that I collaged. And this is vellum printed on. And there's the other part of a uh, more lace stain, tea stain paper. And a tag. Raven. And this feels like um, parchment. Up. And there's a little pocket here. The tag. Lots of writing space on that one. And a tuck spot there with a tag. I love the uh, the vintage stuff. <clears throat> the other part of the vellum. And yep, there's the window. And that's all collaged. And there's a cut out. Death Head's Moth with a card there. <laughs> and the tab with the little bug on it. Tuck spot there and that flips out. And that's tucked in there. And the mica sprays on that. I love the owls. And there's the rest of the, that's the end of that signature and, and more of the mica spray. And the hand right on the tab of that one. And the tab of tag on that little page. Tag, collage tag in that pocket. I don't remember where I got that. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Little pocket there. This is more of that wax paper I did a couple years ago. And that's a hidden pocket there, the tag, on some old um, encyclopedia paper. And that pulls out, and there's a hidden tag in there. More of the mica. And an old trick or treat bag with a tag. Like I said, I love the the vintage stuff. The bag is not vintage though, because I remember I got those. I think that might have been a you know, Michaels or a Dollar Tree, I can't remember which. And there's a little spider right on the tab there. And there's a bag with a cup with a card in it. And a tag that flips up. And the moth is right on that tab. 
Oh, there's an old... I have some repro of these um, window clean things. There's another vintage repro card and some stenciling on that. I hope you guys can see the mica. It's so pretty. Oh, the kitty, the kitty cat on her shoulder and a raven. And I sprayed and stamped on the message pad paper. And that's another repro card. And there's the other side of the wax paper. There's a tuck there with a card. She flips out. There's another flip out with a broom. And that is the end. So I hope you like it. I hope you guys are excited for Halloween like I am. It's kind of a warm day today, but we're in New Hampshire, so the cool weather will be back. And I will talk to you again soon. Bye.